Okay guys, so on this very windy, kind of cold spring day, I'm going to be doing a video about my <coughs> lightweight set, uh, my lightweight scouting setup. Now this setup is a setup video that I wanted to do for a little while because in all my years of bushcrafting it occurred to me that I always seem to be doing some amount of scouting and finding new areas to bushcraft. And I wanted to do this video to explain and go over the type of setup that I use when I'm going out initially into a new place and trying to find uh, new different areas to set up bushcraft camps and that type of setup. And this is a really nice lightweight setup that I've devised and it allows me to explore and find new areas. And this setup has uh, definitely gone over a lot of changes in the past few years, especially last year, because I continue to learn from the environment and see just how treacherous the environment is, how <coughs> how I have to maneuver and what I have to go through in order to find new areas. So this, this setup is now my most current setup and for accounting for most of what I have to go through. And there are quite a few uh, obstacles you have to overcome when scouting because scouting is very unorthodox. You're just going into a place you don't really know uh, about and that you've never been to, so you don't really know what you have to face. And so that's kind of why I made this setup the way I've made it because you don't know what you have to face, but at the same time you still want it to be lightweight, maneuverable, and easy for you to carry throughout the day. So without any further ado guys, as always, please do not forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe so you can see more awesome Alaskan content like this. Okay, so, so please apologize, or I do apologize for my eyes being partially closed to really squinty. It is an insanely bright, very white day out, and of course for the camera it doesn't look quite like that because I've set the, uh, I've set the lighting for it so it's a little bit less bright for you guys, but it's quite intense in real life. So anyways, uh, let's go over this path, or let's go over this setup. Now, the first thing you'll notice is that there really is no um, packs on me on this entire setup. There's nothing, there's no packs, except maybe the Janus uh, pocket extension, but that's really just the PSK. There's no packs whatsoever other than that. And I kept it that way because, once again, I didn't want any packs weighing me down or flopping around while I'm trying to maneuver throughout the brush. So the only two things that I really have hanging off me that are larger equipment are these two things right here. And the first of those is the axe. And I know I'm probably going to get some flack for an axe. So this is, you're trying to make a lightweight setup. Why do you have an axe? Well, I like the axe because it allows me to have a large amount of versatility. And it allows me to <clears throat> be able to do many different things with this one tool. And I can also carry it. It's not insanely heavy. It's a few pounds. I can carry it really easily in this kind of sling setup. Now how I'm carrying it is a little bit unorthodox, as I'm sure many of you guys can tell, but basically what I did was that I have a diamond knot, or yeah, diamond knot right here, and that is set up on the lanyard so that it doesn't go this way, and then basically what I do is I just take this over me and then set it on any real part of the axe, and then just put my hand through it, and then just sling it back over me. And this allows me in this setup, and I know that seems like that must not stay very well, but it really does. I've jumped, I've ran with this ax being in this setup, and I've done a lot of vigorous activity. It really does stay where it's supposed to. And so that is that, and it allows me to have a high amount of mobility. You guys can see I can still kneel down with this ax in this current setup. I can <coughs> do a lot, and it doesn't really, it's not very cumbersome. So then the next thing I have is my titanium barbo bot. And with the bot, the reason why I chose the bot similar to the axe is that it allows me to have a high amount of versatility. With this bot, of course the bot being a bottle and the pot hybrid, it allows me to just take sips out of it all day. If I'm just adventuring and going around, not really doing a whole lot, I can just take sips out of this thing and it's really easy. But at the same time, I can also use this as a pot if I need to cook anything or if, say, I want to brew like a Starbucks uh, via instant coffee. I can do that all with this bot and it's all self-contained. And I have the bot hanger attached to it here and then I have a rubber band right here to keep the uh, hanger from just like jiggling around and making a whole bunch of noise. But I have the uh, titanium bot hanger on here too so that I can hang it from a camp. 
hang it from something over an open flame because obviously I'm not carrying any um, stoves with me. So those are the two things that I have hanging off of my back. And like I said, I carry those two things in particular because of the high amount of versatility they offer. So the next two things that I have kind of hanging around my neck are one, an Anza Infinity. And this is a smaller little knife and I really like this one for having it as a competent and capable uh, carving knife, notching knife, if I need to blaze a trail or need to leave kind of like a smaller note. This is a really versatile knife just for overall doing small tasks. And then next to that, of course, I have my standard Exotac Inner Striker XL. And then, <clears throat> so that's what I have hanging on my neck. So then moving over to the belt. Now this is where this uh, kit gets really heavy is on the belt. Because like I said, I'm not wearing any packs aside from the pocket extension or the PSK. I'm not really wearing any like packs. The belt has to support a lot. So firstly, right here I'm running the Leatherman Charge Plus right here. And I'll be rolling in pictures of some of this stuff so you guys can get a better close up view of this stuff. So I'm running the Charge Plus there. Then <clears throat> on this side, I'm running the Bark River Knives Aurora. I can pull this thing out. And this is just a good standard duty knife for doing everything I need to do. Once again, has a lot of functionality to it. And then on this side, kind of moving to the back here, I have the Maxpedition Janus pocket extension. And it's all set up in its normal configuration of being a personal survival kit. And then over on this side, lastly, is the Ruger Blackhawk and 41 Rem Mag, just for a little bit of protection if I come across any dangerous game animals or whatever happens, I have that ready to go and set up just in case for a little bit of personal defense slash if I have to do any hunting with it. And then mentioned, or I forgot to mention in the PSK, it is also rocking ammo to support the gun because obviously a gun is only as good as, uh, as how much ammo you have in it. So uh, the extra ammo is stored in the PSK. So then moving over to pockets, there's not too much. Obviously there's kind of standard stuff that's just there like my phone and stuff like that. But what I'm primarily carrying is uh, the Benchmade Bug Out. This is a really lightweight kind of once again crafting knife or just general purpose, uh, whatever I need a cool kind of knife. Then, lastly, or I have a couple things actually, I have the backup ferro rod, which is a Gobspark Armageddon in bright orange, so won't lose this thing. I just rock this in a little pocket over here. And then lastly, I have in this bigger pocket right above the Armageddon, I have a few cliff bars. And once again, this is kind of going back to that ability to not really have to stop and hunker down and make a fire. I can just kind of continue to move on. I can have my food and my water just right there, grab it, and while I'm even still moving, continue to snack and uh, <coughs> drink water. So that's what <coughs> my lightweight scouting setup looks like. It's not a whole lot to this list, but it's a handful of things. <clears throat> There's a handful of things in this list, and this is what pretty much comprises my lightweight scouting setup for going out and exploring new areas and finding new potential areas for my larger pack setup, which hopefully you guys have watched my spring bushcraft setup. That is the main setup that after I've kind of discovered and found good places to set up bushcrafting campsites, I then go in with a larger pack setup that's more comprehensive and more well-rounded than this setup here. This is simply just for kind of exploratory work. Anyways guys, hope you've enjoyed this look at this fun setup and I'm going to be trying to do more setup videos throughout this year because I realize I really haven't done a whole lot of them in a while. So I thought it'd be fun. And anyways guys, that's all for now. God bless and I'm out.